Hey guys, I keep mentioning my uh, plywood belt sander or belt grinder in other videos and uh, I had to, I just put a different motor on it so I thought I'd show it to you while I've got it kind of sitting out. Um, this is for a 2x72 belt. I built it a couple years ago when I was doing my Kickstarter, uh, my first one, and uh, as ugly as it is, it actually works pretty well. Um, it could use a better uh, tracking system and it doesn't have a lot of belt tension so it's easy to slip but for doing little teeny deburring and stuff like that, it, it hasn't been a problem at all. You couldn't do any heavy grinding with this setup. Um, but I wanted to show it to you. So originally, I had the motor off of my uh, bandsaw. And since I fixed my bandsaw, I put that motor back over there. It was a 1700 RPM. This is a 32 or 3400 RPM. So to get my belt speed up, I was using this 8-inch wheel that I made also out of plywood. I did this on the G0602. Uh, it totally worked. I actually made a bushing because this is a 5 8 hole uh, for the old motor. This motor has a half inch shaft and so I made a bushing for this but it didn't work. It, wa it just vibrated so bad. I was going to make another one and then I thought, you know what, forget it. So I actually went on eBay and bought one. This is a 5 inch. Um, it still is 5 8 so I still had to uh, put a bushing on it but it works great. I mean, it, almost no vibration at all. Uh, I got it from this guy, Oregon Blade Maker, I guess. I just searched eBay for, you know, belt drive will or something like that. I don't get anything from him by sending you there. Um, but, you know, it seems like a pretty good will so far. I mean, I haven't actually ran it. <laughs> I mean, I, I turn the motor on and it, it does feel balanced, but I haven't driven a belt with it yet. So this is one of those things where, you know, I had the material on hand. I needed a belt sander to do some light deburring and I didn't want to spend money to buy one. And um, I built the plywood structure over the course of about an hour, and then I made these wheels on the lay. They'll show you a close-up of those. I actually designed a belt sander years ago. In fact, I'll roll in some footage of the uh, design that I had. I did this in SolidWorks back in like 2008, I think, and I never built it. I bought all the material for it, so I have all the steel. I just never got around to putting it together. So I think I will go ahead and build one. Um, knowing that there's really only, I mean, at the end of the day, there's only four things you need, right? Um, if you're going to do this kind of belt sander that's going to have a flat platen on it. You need a wheel above and below the platen. You need one for tensioning and tracking. And then you need a drive wheel with a motor. So the question becomes, how do you mount those things? Well, however you want, really. Uh, I just started slapping stuff together. I knew I needed a plate, uh, you know, a base plate to put it all on. So this is just a piece of three quarter inch ply. Uh, the motor was going to have to stand up in the air to clear this. And the reason why it's still up in the air is because that's, I made these uh, plywood spacer blocks and the bolts I have, I got just for that and I didn't want to have to cut the bolts or get different ones to mount this motor down on the base. Um, so I just reused it. Uh, and then you've got to figure out how am I going to get this wheel up here and how am I going to get those two wheels out front? That's really all there is. So having seen a lot of belt sanders online, I mean, there's a million, there's tons of plans. There's a million YouTube videos about it. Um, but you know you're going to need some kind of platen, so this is just a quarter inch bolt sticking through here. And then this comes out. Um, I did that so I could make it adjustable, but I ended up not needing to adjust it. So, I mean, it's literally all plywood, right? Just glued and screwed together. And uh, these wheels, I think I've got footage of me making these. I made all these on the lathe as well. They're two inches long. For a two inch belt, I kind of wish I'd have made them two and a half inches and I may make new ones one day. Also, I think the diameter is a little bigger. And I also crowned each of these. I think it was either two or three degrees. And I also crowned this. And this has a crown. And so did this. I understand uh, that the ones on your plant generally shouldn't be crowned. So I probably would not put a crown on those because they're not really in charge of tracking. Um, and I, I, if they were a little bit wider, you know, two and a half, three inches, it probably wouldn't matter. Uh, but yeah, that totally works. And so uh, this just slides in. You can see this whole thing is just blocks of plywood. I glue them together, put brad nails in them, let them dry, stack them up. Um, you know, the whole thing was wet with glue when it was assembled. The tracking mechanism sucks. Uh, I thought that for tracking you needed to tilt this way, but in reality I believe you need to tilt this way. So this is built to tilt on a door hinge that I had. And I don't really want to take it apart because it's kind of a pain to... But it's just being held together with a Harbor Freight quick clamp. Totally works. I mean, you know, it sucks. This has got a bolt through it. So we've got this action. Not, not nearly high enough tension. You need pretty high tension. 
Um, there's a bolt sticking, you can see it. See that bolt sticking out the bottom? I just drilled a hole, cut the head off a bolt, jammed it in there. These springs came from Home Depot. You get them in a, like a two pack and I just mushed them together. So there's, there's two springs kind of intertwined. There's another bolt, just same thing. I don't even think they're glued in. But uh, yeah, that totally works. So tracking's a little bit of an issue. Um, I leave this this loose and then I can kind of clock it and that helps with the tracking and then I kind of lock it down and so far that seems to have worked. Um, if I redo this, I need to research how uh, tracking should work a little bit better because this just doesn't. And uh, that's it. So let me put this back together real fast. I'll show you one other thing. Maybe. Where's that? So this is the, uh, let's see, let me zoom in just a bit here. This is the, uh, the small table that I made, same angle iron, and it's, I just weld, I just booger welded a bolt onto it. Um, it's got some spacers, oops. So this goes in like this, actually, no, it doesn't. It goes this way, of course, because that would make sense, wouldn't it? Let's see, maybe that fender washer goes on the other side. And it's a nylock. And so um, there's no adjusting. I mean, I can kind of adjust how this tips, right? Sorry the lighting's so bad, but that's it. I can't move it any other way. Uh, the problem with this design is that because this sticks out, right? When I'm grinding something, I can't grind, you know, I can only grind up, I run into those spacers in fact. So I can't like do this, which is, you know, that's a it's clearly a design flaw. This should be cut back and this should elbow over or something, I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's ugly, but it totally runs a belt. Um, I'm not gonna get any footage of it running because I just wanna make this video and be done with it. But, uh, let's see, zoom you back out. But yeah, that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, post them below. I can't imagine what they would be. Uh, I'll see you guys in another video. All right, I changed my mind. I am gonna show it to you. This is an M3, no wait, 3M uh, red scotch Bright belt, and uh, it's pretty nice. Now this thing's running, it's kind of loud actually. I'm not sure if it's the will or, it's gotta be the will because, well, I don't know. Maybe it's just because the whole frame rattles. I'll let you hear what it listens to real fast, then I'll pop the belt on and run it again. This is a one horsepower, 220 volt motor, five amps. Um, and uh, it's got a lot of starting torque, but it actually, I mean, I am able to bog it down a little bit, but it's not slipping. So I think if I decide to build an all steel version of this, or maybe an aluminum one or whatever, one of these days, I'll probably go with a three horsepower motor, uh, 220 volt, but I'll probably wait till I get up into the garage. Eventually I'll be moving out of the shop and into the garage, it's just a matter of when. And I uh, haven't really, <laughs> I haven't really had a reason to justify the move, which is why I have not done it. Uh, plus, I like parking there in the winter. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and take a listen. That's a little piece of titanium. Here you go. It's probably just loud because it's wood and the whole thing kind of vibrates and rattles. Anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.